Santiago. It's the very first uh, boat trip today, big day to celebrate. But uh, while we're out here today, you know, getting uh, Santiago sea legs under them, I got one of my best friends uh, with me. We go all the way back to Anchorage, Alaska. Anchorage, Alaska. Alaska. But uh, <laughs> Travis, AKA the Wookiee Wilson, Travis Wilson of Alpha Elite Performance, Alpha Elite Performance Outdoors, who is Red Rums and Marvita's charitable partner in Operation Billfish. And we are down here in sunny Cabo San Lucas with the beautiful lighthouse and Misiones in the background, uh, hanging outside the Cove Club. Uh, we're not exclusive enough to be inside the Clove Club, <laughs> but uh, we are. But we're we are. Saying, they don't. Yeah. They don't, just don't know. Not yet. They just don't know. Yeah. But Toby Keith, if you're watching this, holler at your boys. Yeah. The. Uh, but we're down here in Cabo. Uh, we're doing a little bit of reconnaissance. Well, you're doing reconnaissance. Uh, and we're finalizing and, and making sure all the things in town are taken care of that need to get taken care of. Operation Build Fish uh, used to be called uh, Fish A Day. Yeah. Uh, we rebranded it, renamed it, reflagged it. Uh, Operation Build Fish, make it a little more, uh, you know, veteran focused, a little more military focused. Um, and we're gonna take some very deserving veterans, uh, primarily special operations, on a really cool outdoor adventure here in sunny, slightly windy Cabo San Lucas. A little and windy the, today. And the Los Cabos municipality of Baja California, sir. But under this sky and under with this backdrop, we're gonna take some very deserving veterans. And I'm gonna let Travis explain Alpha Elite Performance Outdoors. Uh, to our audience so that everyone understands why we're doing this, who we're doing it for, and uh, why it's important that we do these things other than giving Santiago an option to be on a boat. Yeah, right, absolutely. Well, I have to say, so this is this is the guy that started it off for me. He took me on a veteran's outdoor adventure trip, uh, adrenaline adventure trip on a bear hunt, and, and that's where I learned about adrenaline adventure and mental health. Somebody there, while we were just talking said, this is some of the best mental health I've ever had. Conversation, mental health conversation they've ever had. And I don't think that veterans can, can get that anywhere other than with other veterans. And so it just you know, ignited a little spark in my head. Um, and Alpha Elite Performance, my supplement company, you know, we, we got to a point where we could say, hey, let's start a nonprofit where it could be AEP Outdoors and that we could start taking veterans, uh, primarily soft because I'm a, a retired Green Beret, and, and that footprint is, is you know, near and dear to my heart. And uh, so we, we take veterans, soft veterans, on adrenaline outdoor adventure trips. And so we partnered with Toby here who, he's, he's right, we go back a long way to Alaska. We didn't know it, <laughs> believe it or not, but we, uh, we know a lot of the same people. Um, but, to, but to combine the two, you know, the, the veteran outdoor adventure, uh, mental health aspect, Cabo San Lucas, sport, fishing, which in itself is an adrenaline. I, I did it last year, and I'm telling you, when you hook onto a massive fish like I did, what was it, a marlin? What yeah. did you, a sailfish? You got, you it was got, a, well, you got both. It is, yeah. and I, I'm half broken. I've had you know 13 surgeries in my life, so my arms don't work as well. One, the reeling arm doesn't work as well as it used to, um, but it is such an adrenaline rush, and, and that combined with the guys being together, hooking onto big fishes, that adrenaline rush, and feeling that adrenaline that they are familiar with um, from deployments or just you know being in the military, uh, and then that fellowship that they get to have together for those you know those four days, uh, it, it, it's I mean it's it's amazing and and it's magical and it's healing, and that's why we are doing the Operation Bill Fish is to bring these guys together that they can come out here, adrenaline sport fish and then spend time together and be able to talk about things that I guarantee you they don't say in, sp in front of their spouse or that they talk Absolutely. in front of civilian people that don't understand what you know a lot of these guys have been through. And it's not just soft veterans, it's any veteran. I assure you, they, they talk about it with other veterans, the things that they've experienced that uh, you know civilians and, and their spouses wouldn't even understand. So um, it's healing, it's, it's, it's healing for me. It's some of the best mental health I've ever had. And I owe it to this guy. Uh, to, to starting AEP Outdoors. So I really kind of want to like 
bootstrap caveat onto something you said there. You, we're talking about a, adrenaline-based uh, adventures. So I, I want to take it one step farther and, and talk about what um, made you successful as a Green Beret, uh, made me successful as a, an infantryman, and all our friends within the military community. What, what made us so successful uh, is facing adversity uh, both alone, uh, inner turmoil, but also like as a unit. And so part of like going through, you know, basic training and, you know, the evolution of your progression, you know, through, you know, the, the training and then into combat, you, you keep facing these different forms of adversity. And while you deal with that adversity, uh, you exert adrenaline, you exert, you know, perspiration, you exert trauma, you exert all these things. Fear. You, fear, you, you face them and you deal with them. And a beautiful lubricant, you know, to bring people together, you know, to, to make the conversation smoother, uh, to, to get to a point of vulnerability faster, is to have people face adversity. Yeah. You know, like you and I, like, we face some adversity on the side of a hill. Uh, we face some adversity in a swamp facing a dinosaur, you know, like, bringing these guys here and letting them face the adversity and understanding like bringing in a marlin a billfish is not an easy task no it's a fest. you know slow like fest. you know like <laughs> while there's some great books about catching trout and there's some great books about catching salmon i bet you can't name very many but i guarantee you can name a hemingway book where a man caught a marlin yeah and you know every child well used to be like most children in their education process read old man in the sea or like are familiar with the Hemingway story of old yeah. man in the sea. And so facing that adversity together, feeling that adrenaline and after that adrenaline, that adrenaline dump comes this moment of vulnerability and truth and honesty. And then like having the lubrication to have those hard conversations like, man, how are you really doing? Man, like I'm, I'm doing really well at this moment, but that's because I survived this. Mm -hmm. And like, I'm not trying to go back to that. I want to continue this emotion. How do I live my life like this? How did I get off that X? How did I, you know, and like those conversations and that roller coaster of emotions and ad adrenaline kind of provides that, right? There's, Absolutely. there's moments where it's like super exciting and scary. Then it's like, can I really do this? And then it kicks in and you find the strength, you find that for inner fortitude. And in that intestinal fortitude, that intestinal gut check. Fortitude. Yeah, good words, right? Good I words. It, we yeah. stole them. Every one of these words is stolen. Yeah. I've made no words. Man, I remember I used I used that intestinal fortitude as an E4 to an E6 when I was stationed in Alaska. And he was like, You just made my day. It, oh it, William Lambert, I know you're watching. And <laughs> intestinal fortitude, you know, like and when you endure that and then you look to your left and your right and you realize like I, I make fun of Marines and I make fun of Navy guys all How the time. How can you not? I love them. Right. I'm just but kidding. I love them. The, the Marine Corps and the Navies have an exercise where they lock arms in the surf and they just let the cold water beat the crap out of they them. They do shit I would not want to do. Right. A very uncomfortable experience. Mm. But they're all doing it together yeah. while they're facing the inner battle of like how cold the water is and the shrinkage issue and the pride and the choking on water and the salt in the eyes. While they're going through all that internally, they realize that to their left and to the right, they've locked arms with people going through the exact same experience. It's exact. And, yeah. and I love that. It's a, I, I think it's a great and it's about the guy parallel your right. for what, we, what we're trying to accomplish with this event. And it's for the guy to your left and your right to lock arms with him, go through something with him so that you are better. Regardless of your branch. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Better than you, where you started. And, uh, you know, like, I remember a wise uh, leader encouraged me to try out for a unit one time. And he said, no matter what, if you do this, you will always be a better soldier and you will be a better person. And so, like, that's why we're bringing these guys down here. We're going to challenge them with this, you know, like this event. We're going to challenge them to catch these fish. And then they're going to leave here better people and better, and better leaders in their community, better leaders in their home, better husbands, better sons, better fathers. And uh, I'm excited to do it. Yeah, absolutely. As am I. And we did it last year, and I, and I still stay in touch with everybody that was here last year. And uh, just had a guy reach out yesterday. I said, whatever I can do to, to help, you know, promote this next event, I'll do. And 
It's pretty phenomenal. It's, so, it's healing, and it's this is an experience that these guys will never ever forget. So, if how does somebody help this event uh, other than someone that's been on it before? Like, tell us how people can support uh, yours and my vision for what's happening here. I mean, well, I mean, obviously, first and foremost is monetarily. You can go to AP Outdoors and donate to Operation Billfish, and a hundred percent of what is raised through AEP Outdoors goes to the events that we provide and Operation Billfish is one of those. So any dollar amount, it, there, it's there, it says Operation Billfish. If you donate to Operation Billfish, it goes to Operation Billfish to this event, uh, to this experience and this, uh, this, you know, this adrenaline experience that these guys get to uh, have a great time at. And uh, we've already got some of the guys uh, picked out for it and they're pretty stoked about it. Um, but yeah, if you go to aepoutdoors.com, and donate to Operation Billfish. Like I said, 100% of those funds go to this event. It, it is a hard thing to do in the, in the nonprofit realm to do that, to put 100% of money on target. And uh, you know, when we, you know, there's a, a bitter taste in, in this, the nonprofit uh, sphere uh, with you know people and organizations that have taken money and then not either followed through or such a low percentage of the money actually makes it to target. So what Travis, what you just said, what Travis just said was 100% of what you're donating for Operation Billfish goes to Operation Billfish. The, uh, Travis doesn't get paid, Toby doesn't get paid, nope. Santiago might get a free treat, but he really doesn't get paid. Like, you know, the, the boats are, are donating their time. The restaurants are doing everything they can to make sure that these guys have a great experience. Now there are some costs incurred. Diesel obviously isn't free. Fishing line isn't free. You know, some of the other things that are going aren't free. And Travel, they, all that stuff, it's, it's not free. Airfare so. to and from Cabo isn't free. You know, so we're trying to, you know, cover all that. These guys, the only thing they need to bring is a good attitude, a thirst, and a hunger, yeah. and everything else in this adventure is going to be provided to them. We're very excited to have it. We're just so proud to like continue this legacy. Absolutely. And uh, you know, like a big shout out, you know, to my brothers, uh, Brad uh, Strip Matter, Cody Hurt, uh, that did Veteran Outdoors with me for so many years. It was their baby. They they brought me into it. Uh, and uh, as I came down here and then followed, you know, the next phase, the next chapter in my life. And it's, it's nice to lock arms with guys that have the same vision and are, are, have taken that torch and have carried it forward. And uh, we are so proud to be part of it. Even Santiago, look at my, my man right here is so proud of it, so. But this is one of the boats, this is Oso Rojo. It's, uh, the guys are gonna enjoy it and uh, almost as much as Santiago enjoys it. But you know, he's like trying to find the shade today. There but he is. It's, uh, you know, as uh, San Santana, and uh, Rob, uh, what's his face from Matchbox 20 once said, it was a hot Rob one. Rob Thomas. Rob Thomas. Yeah. It was a hot one. This is my boy from San, San, Sandbox. What was that bar in? in All right, yeah, and if you want to help AP Outdoors, I mean, AP Outdoors is, is, a, is a baby that, uh, that came to fruition through uh, meeting Toby and Toby taking me out on an outdoor adrenaline adventure, a bear hunt, if, where I learned about what, you know, fellowship was within the brotherhood uh, with veterans that I didn't know. Uh, so from that spawned AEP Outdoors and uh, through our non through our, our regular business, Alpha Lead Performance, uh, we were able to start AEP Outdoors and uh, we're able to take veterans on outdoor adrenaline adventure, Cabo, monthly heli hog hunts, and we have a trip coming up in August to Africa uh, for one of the one of, a, a special operations female, one of the first special operations females, uh, you know, recruited into uh, into uh, into the into that service. Um, so yeah, that's what we do. AP Outdoors, we take care of our veterans, our soft veterans, and it's 100% of what we raise goes to the programs, to the events that we provide. None of it comes into our pocket at all, and it all goes to these events. So. Uh, if you want to support us, you can go to apoutdoors.com and click any of those links that uh, support our programs and, and make a donation today. Thank you. So, uh, no. so if you want to find us on social media, you can go to AEP underscore outdoors. If you want to find us, our, social, our supplement nutrition company, you can go to Alpha Leaf Performance. 
or if you just want to go to aepoutdoors.com, any of those work.